Hello, I'm Pablo for Nicola. In this segment, we'll be taking a look at some advanced features in the article author adding for Word 2007. Specifically, we're going to be looking at features that are for use in the editorial as well as the publishing workflow at journals. So these are not features that necessarily an author would come across or, a, or that an author would make use of, but rather it's for the people that are managing the journals and managing the articles prior to publication and also uh, that have to manage the metadata for those articles. For example, when the article is going to be archived in an information repository. So let's go ahead and take a look. To say that as part of our publishing workflow, we received an article that was created in Word 2007, but did not use the article authoring add-in, or it was created using another file format, uh, perhaps the older doc or uh, some other file format, uh, we're able to bring that article inside of Word 2007 uh, with a template that is specific to my particular journal. And if we look at the article, we'll see that it has no structure. It has a, several paragraphs, uh, has a bullet list, and then it has sections on different, uh, on different add-ins. Uh, also, if you notice the view here is our typical uh, author view, the author panel on the right, but we'll explore more about that later. First, let's add some structure to this article. Uh, I'll select a couple of paragraphs, and I will want to mark this as the introduction. Uh, if you notice, now we have the, the introduction section, and we have uh, a level of structure here. Then I'll go ahead and select more of the content up to the end and we'll go ahead and select a section for this as a discussion. Now, within this section that is called discussion, I want to uh, also provide a structure for some of the, the specific discussions on, on different projects. So I'll go ahead and select this one here, and we'll call it a methods, for example, and we'll select this one on the Microsoft Electronics Journal Service, and we'll also call it methods, as well as one on the Research Information Center, and provide some structure for that as well. So now we went from a article that had no structure to an article that has different sections and even has subsections. So this provides a, a, a basic level of structure to the article, but as part of the publishing process, I may also need to add um, either metadata or uh, specific elements that map to uh, concepts within the National Library of Medicine file format. As we can see in the insert special uh, tab, uh, there are a number of NLM specific uh, elements that I can introduce in the in the article. Uh, in this ribbon, we get to see a panels button that enables us to uh, try some different panels than the author panel, which we're usually uh, used to see. Uh, so let's try the journal panel. Now, the National Library of Medicine file format has uh, a lot more metadata than one usually finds in other formats. Uh, in particular, it has metadata about the authors, the journal, and the article itself. Uh, here in the journal panel, we actually have access to all of the NLM metadata and are able to edit or add to it uh, without having to deal with the XML file directly. So all of the information about the article uh, is readily available and can be edited, uh, as well as information about the journal. Uh, when an article is imported from a, a NLM file, all of this information is preserved and populated and is available in, within the, the journal panel. We also have a couple of other panels that may be uh, useful. Uh, one of them is the notes panel. Uh, this one uh, allows the, the editorial board to enter uh, both front and back notes that provide additional context or metadata uh, about the article itself. In order to access the insert special panel, 
you need to go to the settings dialog and then the validation and panel settings and here's where you can enable both the journal panel and the notes panel um, again these are more advanced uh, features um, not necessarily something that authors would would, would need to use uh, but uh, it certainly we feel is important to provide this level of uh, this level of power and, and access to uh, to the folks working on the publishing workflow. Hopefully, this will be useful and uh, and help you with your publishing workflow and the ability to get metadata uh, into your articles.